cup of coffee, fantastic idea. Did you have another question? Everywhere wisdom is available, in each and every moment. It's a question of whether we're open or not. Yeah? And whether we're shut down into you know, our story or whatever. I mean, there's, there's musicians, you know, that just uh, who, who, who capture something, you know, capture something of a spirit or a moment in, in the music, in the lyrics, in who they are, in you know, all these things, you know, the, the people, people moving in a powerful way, you know, in, in their spirit, in the way that they are. I mean, and the Right Honourable Robert Nestamani was probably one of the most influential musicians of my life. You know, there's all sorts of ways that we get touched. Um, so then, you know, people tell me about books, and I, I, I get hold of a copy and I pick it up. And if it grabs me within the first three chapters, I'll stay with it mostly. If it doesn't, life's too short. Woman on the Edge of Time by Marge Piercy. I don't know if you know that book. It's an amazing book about um, mental health institution, and you can't really tell whether it's in her mind or whether in reality she moves back and forth through space time. It's a fantastic tale about the consequences of actions and our choices now, in this moment, in terms of creating the future. A stranger in a strange land, about a Martian coming down to planet Earth. And so it's a, a view of planet Earth and the cultures and traditions of planet Earth through the eyes of a Martian. And it's only when I reread them 25 years later I realised what an impact they'd had on me. I've just read Stone Junction. I can't remember who wrote Stone Junction. That, that's a, uh, that's a quite an old book now. I picked that one up. I can't remember. Oh, my friend Bill told me. Hi, Bill. How are you doing? I have teachers. I have a meditation teacher. Yeah. I don't see him as often as I'd like to, but I have a meditation teacher. I have had teachers for the last 35 years who I go to and have a relationship with. I have um, another teacher who I deeply respect, who I am still learning from, who's I'm, I'm learning structural body work. Teachers from the Native American world as well. So I'm involved in the Native American world and if you like the shamanic world, you know some of my greatest teachers have actually been my children. You know my partners and my children. You know love is a profound teacher, and if we're open to listen and to be in it and find out who we are in it and where our edges are in that and where our responsibilities are, it's a profound, profound lesson of life. You know.